Armed men described by Ukrainian officials as Russian troops seized the parliament building in Semferopol, Crimea's capital, while others patrolled outside the autonomous region's main airport. Armored personnel carriers with Russian markings appeared on roads Friday along the peninsula, an area with stronger historical ties to Russia than to Ukraine's central government in Kiev. These moves, and evidence that the Russian Navy is blocking the Ukrainian Coast Guard, prompted a sharp reaction from U.S. President Barack Obama. We are now deeply concerned by reports of military movements taken by the Russian Federation inside of Ukraine. Any violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity would be deeply destabilizing. The United States will stand with the international community in affirming that there will be costs for any military intervention in Ukraine. Earlier, Ukraine's acting president accused Russia of military invasion and occupation. The Russian Federation has begun an overtly aggressive campaign against our country. Under the pretense of military training, they have brought military force into the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and have not only captured the parliament and cabinet of ministers, they are also attempting to take control of civilian strategic points such as communications. Moscow denied its forces had entered Crimea. Russian officials say any troop movements there are in keeping with Moscow's existing agreements with Ukraine. Ukraine's defense ministry says it has information that unknown, quote, radical forces are planning attempts to disarm its military units in Crimea early Saturday, warning against such action. Mark Snowis, VOA News.